Okay. This time I'll let you kick it over. Just turn the key. Just start it. And what, let go as soon as it catches? Yeah, just like you're starting a regular car. Go ahead. Seize it or anything. No gas. No gas? Be quiet for a second. I didn't think I let off. Well, no, no gas. Well, I don't know. All of a sudden, quit. It's, 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 it's the weird part is. Well, I thought maybe I deep drained and let off, but I don't think I did. No, you didn't. I don't want to smell this again. It's making my nose hurt. You're all right, Jay. Unless the fuel pump gave out, which is possible. You need to be quiet, okay? Pump was working. Okay, well, we finished up today, um, got the engine started, got it, got it running, and uh, broke, at least broke the cam in, um, and just did an oil change on it, uh, put some more of the GM uh, engine oil supplement in it, and uh, everything seems pretty good except for, I got a little leak around the governor on the, uh, on the transmission, so I'm going to have to pull that off tomorrow and to try to figure out maybe I'd nick the o-ring can't think of any reason why it should be leaking I mean the housing itself is smooth so uh, we'll just take a look at that tomorrow so anyway let me uh, 
Let me fire it up one more time and uh, let you hear how it sounds with, with now that the lifters are, are pumped up. Uh, the idle's still set kind of high on the thing, so um, you're going to notice that it's uh, running a little fast and uh, there's, there's a little bit of a surge in it. I'm not sure exactly what that is. It might be because the idle sits so high. So. right up. Sounds a little better than it did earlier. Belt's a little bit loose. That's that. Let me go let me go turn it off. Up here and turn it off. Okay. So anyways, this is the engine that we completely went through, and uh, it's got a reground. Um, it's got a uh, uh, crankshaft's been turned uh, and balanced. I got that from Clark's. Uh, it's got a set of Clark's Hyper Eutetic uh, High Tech pistons. They're 40 overs with Molly rings, Hastings Molly rings, um, and then those the pistons and rods were resized and and balanced by Clark's. Uh, let's see what else we do. Um, sent the the carb bases off to of Steve Goodman and uh, I believe he's out of Colorado and he bushed the carb bases for me and um, so the carbs have been rebuilt. They got 53 uh, jets in them. Uh, got Seth Emerson's um, uh, Spark plug wires on it. Uh, it's got a igniter ignition. That that's what was in it when I got it. Um, have not hooked up the safeguard yet. It, it's installed and everything, but I figured with all the knocking from the lifters and stuff that it would be uh, might be setting the knock sensor off. So I went ahead and bypassed it. Um, let's see what else can I tell you? It's got a 100 100 amp alternator. Uh, it's got it from Summit Racing. It's a brand new alternator, and then I just put the front end off a Corvair alternator on it. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Um, but uh, Oh, the, the camshaft's an 889 uh, GM copy. Um, it's a brand new, brand new camshaft. Um, the lifters, I got them from the source. I'd never used those before, but I thought I'd give them a try this time. Uh, to me, they sound just like the other lifters that I've used before that, that aren't the, the quote-unquote deep uh, deep seat or whatever they call them. Um, so, don't know that I really know, notice any difference, but some people say there is. So, the price was, you know, about what I would have paid for the other one, for the other ones from another shop. I got them on sale, so. Uh, what else can I tell you? The differential's been rebuilt. Uh, the pinion gear was welded. And then I assembled it and uh, rebuilt the, uh, the automatic transmission in it. Went through that. Everything on that seems to be working fine. I didn't hook up the axles. I was worried that if I didn't hook it up right, that when I started this thing up, I just it would take off driving on me. So I left those disconnected until I made sure that you know I put it in forward, reverse, and neutral, and all that worked right. Um, let's see. What else can we tell you about it? Yeah, that's that's about that on that. Let me go out around front and show you the oil I took out of it. Okay, this is. Um, the oil I got out of it, actually the oil that came out of the, uh, the oil filter, and I don't, know, don't really know if this is going to show up, but it's a little bit sparkly. And again, that's what the uh, oil filter trapped. Uh, you can see there's a couple fairly good size sparkly pieces there. Um, but anyways, that came out of the filter, so. That was after 10 minutes running. That's why it's a good idea when you're breaking an engine in to uh, go ahead and drain the oil after about 10 or 15 minutes running and, and put in fresh oil because there's all kinds of stuff that wears off in those first 10 minutes. 